We're here with head coach Kate peterson Abia, and let's start with your overall thoughts on today's victory over Lake Erie. Well, it was, you know, it's a good win, and it's good to get back and get the kinks out and that kind of thing. Um, I didn't think we executed particularly well, but um, able to do enough to to win, and, and we also get, had a chance to play a lot of players, and so, you know, I think we accomplished what we hoped to with this game. Uh, you kind of touched on it there. The underclassmen got a lot of action today. How have they been progressing throughout the season? Well, you know, they just need game time. That, that's really the biggest thing, and um, the more time they have to play on the court, the, the better chemistry, and, and just the game experience is invaluable. I mean, they play together in practice every day, but when you get out on the court um, in a game, it's just different, and this was an opportunity to let them play together, and, you, you know, I, I felt at times we were very out of sync, but that's to be expected until we gain that chemistry on the floor uh, during game time. So um, I wasn't disappointed with the, you know, the people who played, um, all the people who played in the game. I thought that we were able to be effective um, in stretches, and I just think that um, the, the times we weren't very effective, that that's just a matter of experience. Shalonda Winton recorded her second triple-double of the season with 18 points, 12 rebounds, and 11 assists. Can you talk about her performance? Well, she, she just continues to um, perform at a very high level. Uh, and she loves all aspects of the game, not just the scoring or just the rebounding. Um, and games like tonight, she was able to you know, find her teammates quite a bit and, and actually stepped up her rebounding, I thought, in the second half. Um, I, I just think a triple-double is, is a phenomenal it's a phenomenal accomplishment, and for someone to have one in their career is outstanding. And for her to have two this year already, that's pretty special. And I'm uh, just really proud of her and really happy for her. There were 11 players that scored today. Can you talk about how you are able to spread out the offense? Well, we got a lot of people um, who are playing minutes today, and you know we have a lot of capable players and capable scorers on the bench. They just you know haven't gotten their time yet, and um, you know they're waiting for their chance to play. And I think that we. You know, we have a lot of players in a lot of positions that, that can come out and perform. And they, so they got some time on the floor. And I think, um, you know, when, when they get their chance, they want to be able to prove that they, you know, they are worthy. And um, certainly today we got to see that we have a lot of players who, who can put the ball in the basket for us and, and, and do other things as well. Looking ahead, you face Butler on Thursday. What is the focus going into that game? Well, Butler's a team that runs a lot of sets, and so we're going to have to prepare, um, you know, not for every set that they run. I think there's, you know, close to 40 sets already that we're looking at, but um, just concepts of what, how we want to defend certain things. Um, we're going to have to make some adjustments to our defense in order to prepare for the game, and um, looking forward to the game, I think they're a very strong opponent. Um, after reviewing their game film, I would say that they're one of the strongest teams we've played so far this year, so if not the strongest. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that matchup, and you know, we'll have a couple days to prepare. We're, we're giving the girls a day off tomorrow and we'll have a couple days to prepare. Thank you very much. Thank you.